I want to understand how speech comprehension works like out in the real world, but I think it's valuable to to break that process down into its component parts and target specific aspects of, of that process. In the kind of research that I do, we we typically create sentences or short discourses with high ambiguity words and low ambiguity control words. So, for example, the couple thought that this jam was worse than the one on the television where jam's the ambiguous word, or the couple thought that this storm was worse than the one on the television. I like using MEG or EG because this can give us a continuous record of brain activity while listeners are just listening for, for comprehension. But then we can time lock our responses to specific events of interest. So in our case, we can look at what's going on at the time where the listener encounters the ambiguous word. And what we find is that there's an increase in your response to the ambiguous word relative to a control word. So a greater response to the word jam compared to storm. And interestingly, the size of this effect relates to a listener's comprehension ability. So it seems, or it's in line with the idea that the brain's doing something at the time of ambiguity that's beneficial for successful comprehension. We find individual variability in how well listeners can deal with ambiguity that resolves late to a more surprising meaning. So for example, the couple thought that this jam was worse than the one on the motorway. Now, it's quite likely that when you encountered the word jam, then you settled on the more frequent meaning, the kind of jam that you spread on your toast, which means that when you encounter motorway, if you're gonna be able to interpret the speaker's intended meaning, uh, you need to revise your interpretation. You need to reinterpret. The question is why are some individuals better than others? And I've been exploring this question, asking whether it's more to do with a listener's knowledge of words and their meanings, what we might say language specific cognition, or whether it's more to do with executive functioning ability. So what we might say is domain general cognition, the ability to think or respond flexibly that's not specific to language. 